Hello everyone, welcome to our Mola video. My name is Rutri and today we're going over how to build a dino pen because we have so many heckin' dinos in our single player world with literally little space, honestly. I tamed a bunch of brand new moss chops on Christmas Eve. Sadly, I forgot to record it, but it was a 150 male moss chop, so it's perfect for our 150 female moss chop. So in a future video, we'll be having a breeding episode as well. And possibly we can go in and go tame some, um, not tame, either um, kill some penguins with moss chops. So anyways, Jeff's over here helping us out. We have a bunch of materials on Jeff, as well as our own inventory. All of our other dinos are currently back in the base, but later on I might bring them over to the new dino pen I want to build up. So for starters, I do have a picture on my, on my screen of how to actually build it, so it won't take too too long to actually build it up, now that I actually have a guide this time. So we're gonna start, let's go ahead and start it up, guys. Let's see. Um, let's see. For starters, the 21 stone foundations. Now these go in a, um, let's see, I believe it's 3 by, by tw um, three by 7 to make 21. I mean, I know the math for it. I, I totally didn't use a calculator earlier. <laughs> so anyways, go ahead and get started. Let's see, place down one of these. Oh heck, a free gift as well. Let's see, three this way, free gift. 10 cooked meat. I mean, that's always useful. Okay, now that sounds over. Um, seven this way, so two, three, four, five, six, and... Okay, we're just gonna ignore that part. <laughs> um, we'll get seven on the other side, hopefully. Did not plan that out. I, I placed it right over here in PC as well. It worked fine. So anyways, just make a ginormous square, like a rectangle with this, and it should be all set. There we go, so those are all the foundations nicely organized, and let's see. Up next, I have two stone fence foundations, and they should both be going in the corners to help out with placing the gates. One on either side over here should be great. We're demolishing them later just like the other chore for that base over there. Let's see. And the two gates now. So let's see. They should both place okay. I mean, hope so. Man, it's a little pecky. I'm gonna try to up here actually try and get a little easier spot. Let's see, come on. There's only so many options. Okay, I think that is the correct one right there. It's gonna X that out. And let's double check. Yep, that is the correct one. Let's go ahead and destroy this little tiny thing over here, the fence foundation. And then a tiny thing over here as well. Oh, that was so much easier. That's unfair. Let's see, fence foundation. There we go, and destroy that as well. And up next, let's see, do I have the doors with me? I do have the doors with me. That makes it a lot easier. So yeah, for any large dinos, they can go in the corners of the base. They can go ahead and be able to leave either from the front or from the sides of the base, make things nice and easy. Let's see, I also have all these walls, which I'll go ahead and place up right now. Let's see. I don't have all the walls on hand with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and place them across this way. Oops, that was a mistake. And get this one over here. Okay, we're out of walls, but we do have more on Jeff over here. Let's see, grab the remaining of the walls, and I also want to grab the sloped um, wood wall right and left. Basically, they go up to where the, um, the, the stone gates are going to be, and then I'll have one sloped roof on either side going down slightly, so we have sloped roofs. Let's see, okay, so like this, and nice and easy. We may have to jump to get to the top parts of it, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue trying to build. And as for this part, just grab um, three high and then add one remaining sloped. Okay, perfect. And the slope part. Yeah, no, it takes it forever to go back and forth and guessing on those, but I guessed immediately right away for once. Okay, so that part's done. And up next, I do have some of the roof parts on Jeff as well. Also, I should have parked more closer, but he's busy taking a nap. So going can grab the normal roofs and the, th um, the sloped one should be okay as well. Shouldn't be too encumbered. Okay, what else I want to grab? I'll go ahead and grab the steps as well. Should be able to carry those. Ooh, I cannot carry all of them. Oh, well, that should be okay right now. Let's see, for starters, I do want to play a couple of these steps over here. If you don't have steps available for your player, you can always use them in the wind ramps. Those work exactly the same. Let's see, I'll place them right over here. Perfect. Yeah, I think they're perfectly aligned. Should be all set. Let's see, as for the rest of the ramps, um, I do have one marked place over here. 
Yeah, now we're gonna the rest. I'll get, get the rest on Jeff, but I'm gonna finish up the roofs first before I get that. Let's see for the normal roofs. Um, the flat roofs go across the edge. Let's see. Gotta be really careful about this part. I know he messes up. Let's see. Jump. Oh, not good enough. Let's go ahead and undo that one. This part, I recommend bringing a flyer. If not, just try and chub multiple times. It should be able to work just, just as easily. Although if you look just perfectly straight up, you might be able to get away with it. Now that I think about it, looking straight up does help. Let's see. It's a little harder close to the walls over here because it wants to snap to the higher up and to lower ones, like right here. But just a couple jumps here and there, it should be all right. Man, it just it's so difficult trying to get these all to snap properly. Okay, come on. There we go. And just a few more. I always wants to go with the wrong one. And once again, we have placed it way too low. Oh, okay. That was just a misclick, honestly. Oof. Okay, that one's gonna be an issue. Thank goodness for the undo button. I feel like I said that for my build, honestly. Let's see, I'm gonna jump again. And messed up again. <laughs> At least we're on the last roof. Okay. And once again, another convenient time for the game to save. As for these sloped roofs, like going right over here, a lot easier to place. Overall, this dino pen does match the- oh, well, that's a little off. <laughs> um, this dino pen is designed to match the base we have over there, so we do have thatch roofs that do match it, as well as the wood walls and stone foundations. Overall, you can always change the material if you want, but I decided to make them match to match our other base for now. Let's see, let's go ahead and transfer over all these thatch roofs, which I don't know why I've made so many of them again. As well as grab the rest of the remaining steps, the wooden railings, the um, trophy wall mounts, the multi-panel flags, the feeding troughs, and the compost pin. And that's all the remaining materials we already have for this. Let's see, as for the rest of the ramps, I was going to place those. Not ramps, stone steps. Um, one goes on the other side over here. And then I, let's see, I think it was two foundations inward. Let's see, one, two, three. And that should be even on either side. It looks even. Let's go ahead and place the railings, and that should make it all set up. I may have miscounted. I did miscount. <laughs> oh well. I did kind of mess this up. It actually is two of these stone steps on either side, so two on either side, and then one in the middle. This is why, kids, you'll learn your math very, very well. And as for the railings, they go on either side over here. And then for the inner part, let's see. Gotta go inward over here, and have two, um, two going along this way, which give it a two by two base for one large creature. Do the same thing on the other side. And then give a couple small, um, like a couple areas for your small creatures in the middle. That we can have like a raptor or a dodo or something in the middle. And then have your larger dinosaurs like the megalos um, megalosaurus over here. Wait, me megalosaurus, not the megalosaurus. Whatever the, like whatever the heck you pronounce this guy's name. Let's see, as for the remainder of it, let's go ahead and place the rest of it. We do have a couple multi-panel flags, and they'll be going right behind it. It's a little bit sensitive, but yeah, place it right, behind, right in front of the foundation. Let's see, right about here should be fine. Let's see, and then same thing with the other one. Try to make sure that they're in the middle of the foundation and just in front. Just like this. And then right in front of it, you can also go ahead and place the compost bin, which... It doesn't really matter which side you place it on, but I prefer placing it on this side. Let's see. I mean, eventually it'll place. Let's see, turn green a second ago. Right about... Oh, heck. Come on, it's so sensitive. Okay, maybe just move over slightly, move back. It kind of always just does this, though. It's almost like the jars we had earlier. Okay, I think that is good enough. Yeah, it's a good enough space. And then as for the feeding trough up next, that can go over here. I just like having objects that kind of just perfectly fit the space. And I love how the feeding trough just immediately goes in. So much easier. Now for the remaining two pieces, we do have the trophy wall mounts, which we can place right up here. I decided earlier that I'd place them right across the wall um, in the middle of these two, like, these two spaces. Let's see, that was on the second high foundation. It was along this wall over here. And they should be even if I place it right over here. 
Later on, you can always go ahead and actually place the trophy wall mounts, but currently I have not killed any um, Alpha Rexes or anything, so I don't actually have the stuff for that. So anyways guys, that wraps up how to build a basic dino pen that allows some a few medium-sized creatures, but mostly small stuff. Well, thank you Moss Child for being incredibly loud, but um, it should be nice and easy for you now to also transport your dinos. Now that Jeff's finally awake, we can also move him, and he should be able to fit fine right over here. I mean, he actually could squeeze in the, in the one by one space, but I want to give him plenty in case he goes to bed. Let's see how it looks actually. Ooh, his eyes are glowing, I forgot about that. Let's see, go to sleep, and stay sleeping. Oh, I can't make him stay sleeping until actually goes to bed. Okay, and Jeff finally has- okay, really? He already woke up. I guess he can't stay asleep. Oh well, Jeff at least does fit over there, so it's a good spot for him. And in the future, I'll be taking some unicorns, some griffins, etc. And I'll be putting possibly unicorns over here, and griffins over here. Although I do have some carnos as well, I probably should actually place them over there as well. So anyways, thank you so much everyone tuning into, into this tutorial video. Hope that helps out anyone who's looking for a dino pen. It does help out an awful lot for trans um, for keeping track of your larger dinos. You can't have anything too too big in this, but I don't intend on building a Rex one for quite a bit of time, so hopefully in a little bit we can also go ahead and build one of those in maybe a few episodes. I do want to go ahead and tame griffins first, unicorns, horses, all that fun stuff, so a large dino pen would be a little bit in the future. Let's see, can I get these moss chops in the way? Let's see. Follow one, and... Follow one. Okay, they should be able to follow us into the base. Okay, one is okay. <laughs> one was a little bit behind, but he's working fine. See, it's perfect. They fit just perfectly. Actually, I, they're not that good at following, so maybe the monsters might get stuck. I spent like, like, I kid you not, on Christmas Eve, like half an hour of my time trying to get one of the moss shops out of my base. It was stuck on only one of the tables, and it was really sad. Okay, I think they're in okay spot right now. I really wish the PC patch, uh, the, uh, the, the mobile patch came in to actually be able to ride them, but that's currently only a PC and console available trait. I think they're good enough parking for now. I'll fix them later. <laughs> so anyways, again, thank you so much for tuning in today's video. Hope everyone has a great night, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Oh, thank you so much, Jeff, for pooping my video. <laughs> Man, dinos are heckin' weird. Anyways, see you guys.